One of my favorite uh, experiences about being here at St. Michael's is when I'm here at 4 o'clock or just before 4 o'clock on a Saturday and the parking lot is filling up like crazy with cars and it looks like there's a flood of people coming through the doors to go to Mass. You know, this is our, our door A that we have here. It's our main door entrance. But in this building, we have all the way down to door F. And door F leads us to that multi-purpose room. And between those two doors, we have the school and the gym. So many things that take place here at the building where we have flow of traffic going in and out. Uh, but there's a door just down this other way that I think a lot of people don't even realize is there. Uh, that door is the door to our perpetual adoration chapel. Here at St. Michael's, we have Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament present for people to go in and pray uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to be able to sit in that silence, read their scriptures, allow the Lord to speak to them, to pour out their hearts before him, uh, just because they know that that's a place where they, they know God's presence is there and they feel that, that peace and that comfort. This is that door, it's our adoration chapel door. That doesn't have the flood of people coming into it, but it has a trickle of a few who know that secret. When people come into here, they come at all hours of the day. We have some that are signed up for the middle of the night. But it's beautiful coming in here in an evening at the close of the day and I stop by and peek my head in and I see that all the chairs are filled and I have to go find another spot to pray. That's a, a beautiful sight here at St. Michael's. But I also find those times alone in here uh, where I'm able to have that time of prayer just with myself before the Lord. But I'm never opposed to seeing a few people also trickle in and to be able to pray at that same time as me. And in some ways, even though we're not praying together, I also feel like they're praying with me. So why don't we come on in here and be able to check out our Adoration Chapel. As you saw, as you can see, we, we have a, a coded door. It's part of our job to be able to make sure that the Blessed Sacrament is protected. And so we have a coded door that you, in order to come in, can actually just swing by the office and let our gals know that uh, you're a registered member here or another place in Sioux Falls or even outside of Sioux Falls. And they'll give you a code to be able to access, to be able to access this place and to be able to take part in adoration. Uh, you'll see both Alicia or Betty that they will, uh, they will be able to assist you in making sure you're able to get set up to be able to uh, be able to pray in our, our chapel here. Once you have that code, you have access to being able to come in here and pray at any time and to be able to sit before the Lord and sit in His presence, pour out your heart before Him, give Him praise, or just to sit silently and let God pour His gifts on your beloved, even if you happen to slumber a little bit. That's what the Psalms say, that he pours his gifts on us even at that time. And so we really just encourage many people to, to discover, or maybe you've been away, away a while, to rediscover this great gift that we have here at St. Michael's in our Adoration Chapel.